Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Expanse Season 2 reaction video. Okay, as you can see, I'm in my bedroom setting, my bed setting. Um, I haven't been feeling so great again the past couple of days, a little under the weather, so I decided to jump into bed to do filming of this episode. I do apologize for any inconvenience this causes for people. Um, I figured though that, you know, reacting from this setting was better than not reacting at all. So hopefully you guys don't mind, but I do apologize once again. Alright, so before I get into the next episode, which is Season 2, Episode 8? Episode 8, yes. Um, Last time around, last episode, we had quite a lot happen. Um, I had thought that it was more of a character building episode, but then as we progressed further, we did have some big events, so it was nice. It was a good mixture of both. And currently, we're set up to see what's going to happen with Bobby is being sent to Earth for the summit that Avasarala has arranged between Earth and Mars, though she has been told to lie about what happened. Um, and I'm curious to see if... Mars wants to take the blame for the fight just because they want to prevent war and so they're willing to take some, you know, negative consequences or if there's some sort of ulterior motive going on having to do with the alien protomolecule thingy that we saw. Um, and also we saw Holden make a pretty big move where he went to go and try to kill Cortazar but he was unable to do this because Cortazar had been whisked away, stolen by Anderson Dawes, who's trying to get kind of a foothold in with whatever is left of the protomolecule. Um, of course, Fred was very upset about this, and um, Holden was very upset about this, and they tried to have Naomi and Alex chase him down, stop him, but Anderson Dawes used Diogo as kind of a decoy, and so they were able to get away, and now we're left with the potential aftermath of that that kind of pairing between Cortazar and Anderson Dawes. Alright, so before we jump into episode 8, I just want to say a quick huge thank you to all of the people who have come out to support me on Patreon and to everyone who continues to support me there. It's a huge help, it really is what allows me to continue making these videos and to try to put them out in as timely of a manner as possible. Um, if you're interested in coming out to support me, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can get access to full, so extended, complete reactions of all my Expanse videos is one option. You also can, at a different tier, get just early access um, to the videos that are posted on YouTube, and there's a variety of other things too. So do check that out if you're interested. If not, not a big deal, but if you are, I can always use the support and I really do appreciate it from those of you who give it. All right, so, with that being said, let's get into it. The Expanse, Season 2, Episode 8. Here we go. Dr. Meng, Prax. Doris. It's so nice to see you back on your feet. It's okay here. May is gone. 
my brothers and sisters on the hills, that you destroyed all its secrets as well. There was nothing left for us to fear, but instead, you preserved what you could of this terrible new weapon and took it back to Tycho with you, keeping those secrets for yourself. No doubt believing that when the time comes, as it surely must, you and you alone would decide when to use the weapon to defend the belt. Now, I believe you have the belt, Eric Corrett, and we have taken to you as a brother. But this, this is the Urta in you still. We do not want to live under anyone's boot, Faye Johnson. A silly torture, even a friendly one, afraid that if we disobey, we will have our air cut off, our water ration, be spaced, or be herded into chambers to be used like animals. This is the way it has been until now. No more. I have stolen your secret, Fred Johnson, and I am giving it to the belt. The same way Eros was talking, Cortazar was scanning the system for signals like that. He found one. Where? He was still trying to figure it out. He only heard it once. After Eros burned up. You didn't mention any of this. There wasn't any time. We need to find the source of that shout before Cortazar leads Zaws to it. Well, Naomi, Cortazar must have been using the station's antennae for his scan. If you give me access to the antenna control logs, I might be able to figure out where he... responsible for what happened what there, to do for, a living thing. for destroying it, because um, they think it's just a war and they don't realize that sort of molecule will be alien being creature, but with this we should have enough data for decent triangulation of course. You really think that justifies just murdering a bunch of refugees? No. That's a coincidence. We know that the protomolecule learns that it keeps on changing. Which means Ganymede could be worse than Eros, even if it is. Then we go there, find it, and shut it down. How do you propose to do that? The Martian fleet has Ganymede cordoned off. We'll find mean, they're a the Martian you know, ship. Go ahead, blind again. Guns blazing. Maybe we can steal another ship to smash into it. We did that already. And look where it got us. Right back where we started. Look. The protomolecule is out in the world now. We just have to accept that. And figure out how to deal with it. Huh. No one else needs to die. What do you want? You want the missile, boss man. All them Earth missile. If you're not going to use them, we will. I don't know if you 
should be just a plant? soybean. A botanist. Plant? <laughs> I need me so bad. I can force open the door, but I need cold for lunch. Do what you do for getting done. We put our life on the line for you. And you keep trying whatever tin we get. We waste our blood, brat now. Give us a cold. No. Sal! Sal, are you next? People Sorry. have died for me before. These guys all need to die. And by my hand as well. You may as well put the next one at me. You would have said they're not in Naga. You've been lodged in this house too, me Pesa, huh? Shots! Join us! I work for Fred. <laughs> Maybe not for long, though. Give us the codes. Then maybe she lived long enough for see doctor. Oh. He's looking for that person that he said Seriously. that he loved. You know what your problem is? I'd like to. I'm gonna tell you. Your problem is the only person you give a shit about is yourself. Isn't that most people's problems? If they're being honest? There's a lot of people coming aboard this station right now, Amos, and they need our help. So why don't you help them? I am. What I'm trying to figure out is why you won't. Because as far as I can tell you, you got nothing better to do. Because I don't feel like it, Alex. You don't feel like it, really? That's your answer, you don't feel like it? That's not good enough, Amos. That's, that's not good enough. We help each other. That's what people do. We help. That's why we have a civilization. So then why don't you help your family? Oh. They're right there on Mars where you left them. God damn you. Shit. Get out of my face. <laughs> 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 